the recording. All right, good day. This is just going to be a short stream. We're waiting on to see if Shauna is going to stream a little bit. And I'm just going to show you my experiments with some more transfers, some transfer techniques. And so first of all, what I was using was I had found a jar that I had of the Americana Decor gel transfer. And it's a thicker gel. It's not real. It, it was kind of goopy. It's kind of the consistency of Elmer's glue, a little thicker maybe. And I tried putting it on. First I put on a coat of matte Maj Podge. And on some of them I put a coat of this on. And I put it on the picture and I put it on the paper and let them dry. That was not really a problem. I did notice when I was putting it on that I was getting some, um, I had some water in my brush and I was getting some resistance and little bubbles would form. So I went back and, and brushed over it and kind of tried to make sure there were none of those bubbles. Then I put a wet coat on the paper and on the picture and put them together and squeegeed it. That was hard to do. I found that because I was doing a big area, I found it really hard to get this on both surfaces and keep it wet long enough to put it together if that makes sense so I can't say that it was super successful so here's the first one and you can see it rubbed off in some places I still had some bubbled areas I did manage to get her face okay I know it's kind of hard to see. She's shadowed. I didn't rub this side off yet. It even went like lifted completely off in this area. I'll use this. Still vintage looking, so I don't really have a problem with it. This is another one. Um, this was my fault because I overlapped the two transfers. It's got some blisters and some bubbles in it still. And it's just areas where it didn't like really adhere. It went through and lifted straight to the paper in a couple places. You only use wet on the page after the first coat. And not on both pieces, LG. Okay, this was another one, and again, it didn't stay. Okay, this was the best one with that method, and I'll tell you what I did with it. Because this was the end of, like, that night, and I was really tired of peeling. So, this one... I dropped it in the water. I just took a bucket of warm water and dropped it in the bucket face down and let it soak. And this one gave me the best results. I had to be careful of the map on the back. When I originally started, I thought, you know, I don't care if I peel the paper on the back and the paper on the front. But this was the easiest one to peel. I did tear it in one place, but I just put some washi tape on the back. And I have a theory, which I'll get to in a minute, for why I'm getting... Yeah, I'm using magazine images on matte paper. And I have a theory why I'm getting the pockets and the bubbles that Jean and Carrie are not getting. I am not using it in a journal. I am not using it on a hard substrate. I'm using it on lightweight matte paper just by itself and magazine paper just by itself. So I think that you get, well I know, it, it wrinkles and you get buckles and it's not flat because 
both of them don't really do real well with the super wet medium. Um, this one I didn't get any bubbles. And this one I didn't get any true blisters. So that worked real well. So after I had four more set aside, so I thought, well, I'm going to play and compare some different products and see if it was it just this. Now I'm going to have to try what LG said. So on this one, I used... Deco page photo transfer medium on both sides. Now it's got a coat of a clear on top of it, so after I did it, and it did pretty well, but I removed this one by soaking it and got the layers, the top layers off. And it only, I tore those just my set, like I hit it with my nail. And it had a couple places in the bottom where I was probably rushing it. But that one did pretty good. But you can tell that the paper's buckling. Because it doesn't really smooth out flat. And you can feel a few places where it's a little bit blistered. But this one I didn't remove the image. But again, I soaked it in the bucket. This one I went straight up from the jar, didn't prep the page, just wet media, wet map, using this. Kind of the directions that it had. Um, just enough to cover the paper, Mindy. Like, and I floated it face down. And the best one I'm saving for last. I'll show you in a minute. This one did didn't work too bad. I had some problems here, but I knew I had some problems with it. Uh, the glue drying again, a lot of area, and I did have a few blisters or tears. And again, the bottom broke up, but I don't mind it for, and you can see behind the sky, you can see the, the map. So I'm fairly pleased with this one. And I did soak this one in the bucket. And all I did was just take and dip it in the bucket, get it wet, soaked it for a few minutes. I didn't care if this got wet because I wasn't rubbing on it and I know that I'm not going to use all this paper anyways. I don't know how I'm going to use these yet. So I was leaving the excess map. I didn't want to cut it down. I'm probably going to put them on a clipboard is probably how I'm going to use them. Alright. This one is my favorite. This one I put about three to four, and I wish I'd probably put maybe one or two more. I let them dry, coat, and I changed direction. So I used this and went horizontal and let it dry, and then the next coat I went vertical. And this was, I just put it on the magazine page. Let me, let me see if I have something white to lay it on. And hold it up for you guys. It was, it's a magazine, like a sepia toned prairie. And once I had it all dry, completely dry, I soaked it and peeled all the paper off. And you can see straight through it, and it's kind of like an acrylic skin. And I'm just going to use the gel medium to adhere it. It's curled up on the edges a little bit, but I know that will flatten out. And this one, you can. this is the back where I removed the paper. And you can see a few white spots on the back side where I removed the paper. But this one's so good, I think I can just use this side from the front side. I don't have to even 
worry about that white paper. And it actually, if I just left it alone in the warm paper, it probably would have even removed more easily. And I just kept removing paper in the water on this one because it was so delicate. I would let it soak paper side down that I wanted to tear. And then I would put it in and I would use the flat part of the bucket and just kind of work. And once I got one area, I just work in the bucket and just kind of roll it and try to make sure that I wasn't tearing it. And I only tore it when I was picking it up in like one place. But again, once I glue it down, I don't think it's going to matter. In a little bit, we'll glue this down to... to I'm going to put it on a piece of map page. So I think that one will be really cool. And this was my last one. And this one was Mod Podge only. And it was... I didn't finish peeling it because I'm so disappointed in how little ink transferred. I'll have to look for that, LG. Oh, I think I may have seen it. Like she just brushes on some of the daddy vans and it kind of goes clear, doesn't it? See, I need to get that daddy vans or beeswax because the one I showed you earlier, this is not a hard wax. This is a cream wax. I just thought it might work the same on the tissue or the deli paper since I had it. I got it for a furniture project. I didn't get it. And this says it's for furniture. This is for their home furniture line. I have to say between the two of these, I think I like the decoupage photo transfer. I didn't like the Mod Podge straight Mod Podge at all. Um, and I think that Carrie and Jean both maybe use a Liquitex gel medium possibly. But the only Liquitex I had was um, a gloss gel. But I found like when I put it on the surface first that the, the transfer wanted to like slide off and tear. So I'm not, sh but again, I'm not, I wasn't on a hard surface. On this one, I'm not even sure if I'm going to finish peeling it. I probably will and just use it as a real distressed photo. Yeah, I know the Daddy Vans is for furniture. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it after, at the very end trying to get that last little bit of paper pulp off. Alright, so while we're waiting for Shauna... Let me move some of this out of the way. Like I said, I wasn't displeased with very many of them. Um, this one here is supposed to be, you can't see it, but it's artwork in the background. It's really dark, I know. Um, it's Uh, Adrian Brody and his girlfriend, the model, uh, Rebecca, I can't think of her last name, I don't, but it's on a map for Maryland for Baltimore, and I thought it would be cute to do something about the art retreat for Maryland, but I just haven't figured out how I want to use it or what I want to do, because they were at an art gallery, I thought that might be a cute piece, but indecisive. This one is a map page for Kentucky. And since this was a prairie, I thought that it would be kind of cool with the map in the background for that. So what I'm going to do is
just take and do a layer of Mod Podge gel medium just because that's what I have and put it on there to start with and on those edges that are curled up I think I'll um, probably go in with some of the gloss And it is a little wrinkled and buckled. But I'm not worried about it. It almost kind of feels like film. So what I'm going to do is I want to oh, I'm going to I'm just taking a gift card and I put a baby wipe around it just to kind of make it a little more gentle and I'm going to try to smooth this out. I'm not going to worry about if some of the edges go brittle. And I think I'm going to add some of the heavier gel medium in some of these places where I don't have it on the edge. Just to give it a little more oomph. works. It might have been easier to adhere it when it was wet too last night. When, it, when I first took it off instead of letting it completely dry. But I wanted to show it to you guys as it was. The heavier gel is making some of those edges lay down where it rolled. And I think if it were on a harder substrate, then it would... Uh, probably even lay down better because my map paper is buckling a little bit Shauna just take your time and let me know you're going to Walmart again for a third time Did I hear that right? Is she going to Walmart again for a third time? I'm beginning to think she needs to like broadcast from her phone and take her take us with her. If and if it's just a YouTube live or something. I have friends that have started 
doing that just like here and there. Like I said, it's not perfectly flat. But I don't think it ever would be with the, like I said, there's not a. I got most of the air bubbles out. And the heavier gel medium really laid down. the edges. In fact, I'm going to put a coat of that watered down on top just to give it that little bit of gloss. Because I'll probably use it as a background. I don't know what I on a clipboard. I was just experimenting. Okay, that. I'm trying to get the gel medium up off the mat. More. see the map through it. So it'll go a little more clear later. All right. I'll set that aside to dry. And have this. I don't know why I did two purple. It doesn't matter. I'll use this. I want to use these pennies that I found in a magazine, I think. down Get a little closer on this side may not use them as a whole okay. let's see I know in my stash I have some Pick something out. Let's do something with 
this camper maybe because this is about like souvenirs like getting your penny stretched I may use one of these smaller ones but I'm thinking a camper might be fun and now let's find okay she's a little quirky I don't really want that's a possibility Formal, too weird. I'm going fast, but some of these I know I just pulled out for like backgrounds or words. That one might be a possibility. I wasn't looking for anything with a casual camping in mind when I pulled most of these girls. A lot of these are uh, backgrounds. I think I want to use that. All right, almost to the bottom of this. aside yeah that's okay I know I want to use this on the back of the clipboard as part of it And it talks about like the case of a water landing, like an emergency. Maybe just want half that camper, not both. Like the end of the camper. Could use this map. Not sure I'm wild about the blue, the purpley color. Right, we could use this map, which has water on it. We could use this girl. She might be interesting, like cut. She's like at a pool or something. She looks like she's wearing a mermaid. I think I'll use her. Not sure about the camper.
I like the camper. I'm going to use it. I just don't. Not today, I don't think. I'm not sure I want to use the pennies either. So I think I'm going to use this water scene with her. I'm going to just trim around her. And I think I'm going to change the color of the clipboard maybe. I gotta turn this fan off. Just a second. Or up. Maybe that'll. So it's not directed down at the table. some of that turquoise in there, here and there. Okay. Let's put a coat of this needs to be blue or a turquoise color. So I'm going to take that purple and back it. Let's see. I'll try a little neon blue in there. and a little turquoise. And I'm just going to focus mostly on these edges because most of it's going to be covered up. But the edges will show. I don't know what we're doing on the back yet, other than that paper. So I know we need to at least have some of that run on the side.
a little bit more. Alright, I'm going to hit that with a heat gun. I'm just doing... Let me turn this off. I'm just doing a clipboard, Galena, with one of the transfer. Oh, I need new baby wipes. Let me get some. Uh, I don't know how these will be. Snoopy baby wipes. They're leftover from school kids bring them and I don't know why we keep telling them they don't need to and they still come every year and bring them. Alright. Sean is supposed to come on in a little while. I think. But we'll play for a while. I'm going to hit this again with the heat gun some more. Getting there. Just let me know, Shauna, if you're ready, okay? Because I'm just playing around while you try to get stuff organized. Alright, so that was Deco Arts Tradition Aquamarine and Americana Neon Blue. And I just put it over. I had a purple on there already. I gessoed. I know I want this corner to be rounded, so I'm just going to punch the corner of this and start with that. And my method's not perfect for doing this on the clipboard. In fact, it's really hard to videotape. But usually what I do is I push the paper all the way up under the clip and just use my fingernails to kind of fold it. Down So I kind of have a fold, get it where I want it placed, and then I can just make a little snip on the edge of each side of the metal. And then where that is, I can cut kind of in at an angle.
and then I'll just sort of let it tear and that'll work up that way and then this one I'll cut in again at an angle because I'm going to get rid of that piece that's up under the clip okay so that works and then I can pull the paper out and cut this away put it back up in there just doing a dry fit Now she's going to broadcast on Ustream. She just hasn't set up her channel yet. Was, I thought, what she was going to do. All right. And then I'm going to round that corner. I may have to. again. I don't think I lost much of it. Okay. And I'm not going to round this one. I'm just going to trim because usually what I'll do is fold this over. Trim this a little more and try that corner again. And this is just an old um, Making Memories corner punch. All right. Let me clean my brush. The other glue brush. Lena's whimsical world. Okay, Galena. I'll go in and make sure I have it later because I don't think I, I'm not sure I do. Alright, and I'm just going to put some glue up at the top first. And not all the way down the clipboard. So I can get this in. And position it. Come down just a little bit, I think. And I'll come in and get the rest of the clipboard glued. But I just want to get that top part where I want it. I still don't like. The angle on that. That's better. And then I'll hit that with some 
glue to get that down. And I'll put some over on this side. And I'm just going to put a little piece of map in there to blend. And a little piece on this other side too. I created, I didn't said that the channel on on Ustream wasn't hard. Um, I looked at check, setting up the channel on uh, YouTube Live, but it was I just didn't want to mess with like trying to figure out the encoder and I was already doing Ustream. And wasn't real impressed with what I saw on Ustream, I mean on YouTube Live. And I just worked the glue down. That way I get a, now this one's going to have some wrinkles just because the page was wrinkled to begin with. corner and the edge and then this will fold under so I'm just going to fold that under right now just to get it out of our way and I can see where the edge of the board is Now I'll tell you, if I get too many air bubbles, usually what I do is, hi Ify, is I take my X-Acto knife and just drop a whole bunch of tiny holes. This is where the transfer bubbled. Not necessarily the matte paper. And then I take some really wet gel medium and put it over those areas. And this doesn't always work. It's a trick from, like, I learned it from my granddad who uh, wallpapered. And that if they missed a spot on wallpaper or they had a bubble, this is how they would flatten it. And you don't normally see the holes. And then usually I'll take a gift card and try to push that air out and push that wet gel medium in. And sometimes I don't see a difference until the next day. And it'll have flattened out really well. Like I said, this had a lot, 
of air bubbles in it, but like that one just went flat. And I'll just add some water to it so I can kind of float that in there. Got to be careful that you're not pushing too hard with the card or you'll tear. Sometimes I use my finger when it's wet. And I'm just going with it and making creases on this. It's already got creases. This is the biggest area right up here, but that may not adhere till later when it's dry. But you don't notice the little holes. And I was going to put a coat of gel medium over everything anyways. So this just did that for me. And like I said, I got most of the bubbles down. And they were in the original photo transfer. So that's pretty good. And I'm going to start with the glue stick on her. I just had glue stick out when we when I cleaned up. I'll be just get another one. It's somewhere. Well, oh, there it is. I'm just going to put a liberal dosing of glue, just regular glue stick on the back since she's magazine. And she'll still probably wrinkle or bubble. Yeah, this is a photo transfer, Shauna, that I had done. And it, I did a whole bunch of photo transfers. Alright, and then I'm going to just take a wet baby wipe and just try to burnish her and minimize the wrinkles. Especially, she's going to have them though because the board's got wrinkles. And then I'm going to add a coat of, I'm going to add a coat of just the Liquitex. It's not as wet.
Now she does have wrinkles even in her face. But I don't think it'll be noticeable when you look at her straight on. Okay. And then I had a quote. Just the other day I had a quote sitting. Let me see if I can find where I said it. There it is. Alright, and I think I'm going to trim that. And it's just out of a magazine, too. I want to put that on a piece of card or scrap. That's kind of cool because it's got that teal but in a lighter color. Kind of like that chevron pattern. That one's like a chicken kind of. These are left over from when I did the sea turtle. Here's a piece that's got a chevron with yellow and green. There's a stripe. There's a paisley. And there's a dot. So we'll pick one of those. Okay. Dots too much. I think that doesn't pop enough. I don't think I'm going to like this either. It's, I think it's too dark. It's too much like this background. No. Kind of fun. I still think I like this first one with the green because it sort of picks up this color down here in her skirt, dress, whatever it is. Alright. Y'all got quiet. I don't know if I got chat still working or not. Alright, trim that. that down. Right in here, I think.
I'm just checking to make sure I went in a chat split or all right so the front I'm happy with that I'll let that dry and then I'll probably come in and drop in some see like that magazine quote is already tried to bubble up it's the one thing about using magazine pieces all right so I'm gonna tip this over and put the lid on that jar And I know we want this. I may do what I did the other night is do a piece of that scrapbook paper that I had and that deli paper that I had. The same deli paper that Ann should sent me. Let me get that real quick. Because I think it's going to match the same basic colors. Or I have some napkin stuff that we can play with. But I think I'm going to put this piece of scrapbook paper at the top just to give me that white background and um, the green lines will show up but not a lot yeah, so I'm just gonna trim that and punch the corners to be trimmed a little more. This one has more rounded corners, I think. This clipboard. It's probably been around longer. Alright, and I'm going to round the bottoms of this. I'm going to put the magazine on first with the glue stick. Well, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is put some of the gel medium on here and let it kind of get tacky. Is what I did the other night. Since I had a big piece of magazine. And that kind of got tacky while I was doing the glue stick. Let me know if Sean is ready. All right, I'm going to start at the bottom. Again, I'm going to put baby wipe on the card. Actually, I'm going to do a couple layers and try to hold that up just a little bit and work my way up uh. 
And that went on pretty smooth. And I didn't get any tears. Little like a little one down here, but that has been working the best for me is to just kind of go with the glue stick on the back of the magazine and then just letting the the gel medium set up so it's not as wet but it's tacky I didn't have it very far up I don't think I still get wrinkles because it's such thin paper I mean you're just not going to I don't, in my experience, I still, I just have never been able to get this big of a magazine page without getting a little bit of wrinkle when it gets damp. All right, and I'm going to use gel medium. My water's dirty on the back of the paper. A little on here. There's a line that's on this paper. I think I'll just kind of line it up with that. Edges sealed. Make sure there's no bad bubbles. Okay, let that kind of dry. I'm going to put a light coat down here. Okay, now, here's the jelly print from Ange, which I like this pattern. Let's put this down a little bit so you can see a little better. And the green stripes will show up just lightly, or... I can put parts of this jelly printed napkin I either that's in the turquoise. Do we like the jelly paper or we do we like the pieces of the napkin? Did I go off iffy? Napkin? Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just get a brush tip wet. You can use your water brush too, is a good, and I'm just going to draw a line where I want to tear that. I'm going to just remove some of the white that was between the, because these were little stencils. And it will just tear the edges. And if I tear the edges, it'll go clear. 
Like I said, this is just the backs of napkins that I jelly printed. All right, I have another one with this same kind of Moroccan print that I think I want to use first. This one's kind of an animal print. I'll use that if I have to, but... Alright, get that wet and tear away. Just tear the bottom and I'm going to tear the side. Alright, let me get rid of those little napkin pieces so they don't blow around. Okay, I think I like it up and down. And I think what I'm going to do is put it on and then tear the top part away and then come back in and lay another one next to it so I can get good coverage. Get that to go down. And then I'm going to gently pull. I'm kind of holding with my brush. And I'll set that aside because I might use it somewhere else. Uh, I need to take a little more off of this one with the water. So I'll put down some gel medium again. Lay down the napkin. But one of the things you can do to get it to lay down is give it a little squirt of water. Just help it lay down flat for you. And then I'm going to tear away. And I'm just on the clipboard, I'm just putting a little pressure on the napkin because the water may not have soaked in yet. All right. Hi, honey, I'm streaming. How was practice? Good. All right, that last little bit. Tear that away. I'll probably throw that piece away. And I'll keep this and use it on another piece later somewhere. And keep that. And usually I just have a little bin that I throw all those in. Okay, and I think I'm going to tear the edge of this map. Before I fold it over. And I'm going to use some gel medium. And just roll that over the side of the clipboard. Okay. 
And, um, I don't know if I want to use any of this or not. It's a little... Could do a row of these pennies down the side, or we could just leave it's the back, so I may just leave it. Yeah, it's a clipboard, Brenda. And I used uh, a Rand McNally Atlas, so it's very wide when I first start. It's here's one that's different. So you can see compared to the clipboard how there's well, let me lay it flat. See how there's extra? And I like to roll it over. Yeah, I was yeah, Bob just got back from uh Practice. He has practice today with the rock band and practice tomorrow with the country band that he's working with. Some of the players are the same. Alright, so let's let me pick up a few of these things and we'll hit this with the heat gun and decide if it needs anything else. Kind of thinking it might need a quote up here or something wordage to break up that field. Definitely want to put the exacto away before I let it roll off the table and stab me. Okay, wet brush. All right. Do we think the back needs anything? Probably, yes. That was Fat Fanny Jean. She was telling my husband while I was talking to him. She hadn't said anything all day because now Daddy's home. She's got to tell some tales. And they ate dry, but they haven't had a can yet, honey. So they probably want a can. Um, there was something I had that was words I can maybe use. I had seen. Shine bright. Uh, no, I don't like it. Nope. Let's see if I have anything travel oriented. I think I don't. I'm just flipping through my stuff real quick to see if I have anything that fit. Because I feel like it needs something here to break up.
Okay, Shauna. I'm almost done with the clipboard. But that doesn't mean everybody doesn't need a break, too, possibly. Okay. Mm, no. Trying to use up some of this older scrapbook stuff that I have, too. You know, like, sometimes it's just stickers and... Right now, I'm leaning towards just maybe some, like, of these popped here in black. Like, a row of three and a row, I don't have very much of this, but a, like a row of three and a row of four somehow. Like, it just needs a little something up there. I'm double checking to see if I have anything else that I like. No, not so far. Need to print a bunch more stuff and go and like go to the copy place and print a bunch more of faux ephemera and some quotes and some of those things just to kind of keep. almost to the end of the box. So far I like that little pop of black. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to add I like to I like these just added in little strips. going to tear that and I think I'm going to wrap it around the side I want that one to be farther. Maybe I won't wrap it. This was a big piece of scrapbook paper that was tight. I wish I had more of it. I use it a lot. You, well, this is the last of it. Let's see. Let's put, I know I want a piece of this, so. I 
I may not worry about wrapping it. I don't think it's going to. up here oh. <sighs> maybe I'll just put this piece over here as a posing This little stickle sticker just says travel in red. And I think I'll put it right here. I'm not sure. I think I'll put it down there. And then I'm going to put a piece of the text. Nope, maybe not. I think I like that on there. And then this just says paradise. I think I'll put it right here. Just for some text. And this says vacation and kind of a turquoise. I'm going to put it on the front. All right. So there's the front. Hey, Vicki. Um, there's the back. I don't usually do as much on the back because I'm not really looking at it. Most A lot of people hang them up on the wall. Because, well, this one doesn't, but a lot of them, this one's been, been, been bent down, but a lot of them have clips that you can hang on the wall. This one's bent all right, so I'm going to use a bottle to kind of prop that. Let that dry just a little bit on the back. Get rid of this stuff here. Just cleaning off some areas while that dries real quick. Yeah. 
What I'm going to do next is hit the front with the pit pin in gray and just trying to kind of minimize the cut lines around her body. Just not as obvious where the magazine ends and the it's harder right here where this turquoise is. Because it's hard to do her hair any other way, really. do that around the label too. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of the turquoise to that. So I kind of like that blue gray color it gives it. And we'll take the fine point and even hit the edge around here a little bit, kind of soften it. Almost gives the illusion that it was inked. And I think I'm going to come around that I really like the turquoise with the gray. So even on this side, I think I'm going to add that turquoise. Use the bigger tip. This is just a zig, which is not permanent. But if you blend it and you're careful with your gel medium, You can use it. All right, I like that turquoise in there. Kind of helps blend with that turquoise background that was in the magazine. see where I put it in it here over the mat and just sort of around the edges it's pretty it's kind of subtle it may not show up on the camera all right now I'm gonna flip it back across and I think the only thing I want to do on this one is I think I'm gonna take and go around the edge of the cutout here and again I'm going to use the turquoise and the gray and I'll get my finger wet and move it just a little bit too if I need to And I kind of want that messy inked.
up edge except we want to take it off that travel just a little bit okay I like how that grunge does that now I'll clean my hands because the other thing I'll do sometimes is hit the creases. So I should have a name shortly. Other one I use sometimes to do this is um, a raw umber. I was trying to age the magazine a little and if, if I get it before it dries I can move it around and lighten it but once it, the pit markers are dry that's permanent I use the itty bitty stamp just to kind of get pit marks on some of the paper. Try to get that aged. Like it's been sitting in somebody's attic. might want a little bit of the turquoise right here at that edge. down here where the map is and drop in like a shadow mark for the map. I'm avoiding that area because it's still a little damp. this top a little bit with the turquoise again it's got to avoid this corner because it's still wet let's see if there's anything we want to do on the front let's hit the edges here with the gray and the turquoise. Really like the turquoise because I think it draws your eye in. Okay. 
Okay, I don't have gel medium there, so let me get that a little bit wet and see if I can blend that hard line. I thought I had gel medium enough down there, but it's not. See if we can tell pretty this needs to be trimmed right here. I actually think I'm gonna just tear it back a little. Gray with the teal. Okay, I think the front is just about done. Still waiting on that corner up here to I have to hit it right there just a little bit and then wait for it to dry. But I still think I want to add some more of this back in. I think I wiped back more than that than I wanted. I don't want to get it on her face on the ad. Just trying to get it a little naturally aged. All right. corner needs to be adjusted here. I'm just trimming off a little bit that and I'll hit it with the gel when I hit it for the last coat. All right, it needs a signature somewhere. I think I'm going to go 
white paint pen. And go right here. Let that dry. Alright, I think I'm done with that one. Move my table just a little bit. My camera's kind of give you a little bit of a closer view. It's dark on my camera. It may just be my lighting's not right today. And then the back. Still think it needs something here. Maybe I have. Ooh, maybe these numbers in red. Or a little turquoise flower and a button. Another option. In there. I'm just looking to see what little 3D embellishments I might have. All right. So we could do button and turquoise with a little flower. That's an option. Somewhere. The other thing I have is I have some chipboard letters. Like grunge board. But I don't have a whole lot. But we could do a word in here in red. Maybe that would look good. I don't know what we can make. These are all numbers. I like the red, the pop of red up here. But I don't know how the numbers would play into it. I think they're not letters. Alright. Let's see what we can make. I don't know that I can get travel. I think I can get fly. I don't think I have an L. Doesn't mean there's not something we can use as an L. Like a modified letter. Hmm. Oh, there's an L. Could do the words fly in red and the little turquoise Cause this talks about landing in like a flight and a vacation so I think that's what I'll do first I think I'll put this little turquoise flower with the button over here
I'm going to let those letters sort of show through. Pop that little turquoise button in. Okay, that's kind of cute. And then set that aside. And I'm going to try something real quick if it works. This is the DecoArts Media Misters. Mm. What do I want to use to block some of the spray? The only thing I don't like about these is they clog really bad. This one's not going to spray a bit. And I thought I cleaned them when I put them away. Alright. It's not going to spray. I thought it might be faster. So we'll just use red paint. And there's a red. Kind of red metallic. Here's Royal Ruby. That's weird. I had a Fiesta Red Dazzling Metallic, but I can't find it now. All right, I'll use this red to begin with. Usually I paint these white first because I get a better pop of color. Then just covering the plain gray. Alright, that's pretty good. The red's the right red because it's an orange red in the ad. What do we want to stick this red on? I don't really have anything handy today, so I'm just going to wipe it up. I still want to give that a little bit of sparkle. For some reason, found it. It's just with the regular paint, the regular reds. It's, we'll just give it a little bit of a glitter on the front when it dries. You won't be able to see it on camera. 
it'll have that little bit of shimmer. All right, that water. Hit that with the dryer just a little bit. No, I'm going to just add these letters to another clipboard. Well, not to the same clipboard, CB. I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to set it aside. I was going to spray. Dry enough. A touch, I think. No, I just wanted. I still wasn't happy with this up here, CB. So I just wanted to add something. Okay. I'm just going to add the heavy gel medium pretty liberal because those letters might still be a little damp and I think I'm gonna keep them kind of angled on purpose that dry. I wish I had a little, you know what, let's pop See if I can see a looking for just a number. If I can see sixteen is what I was going to find to put in the middle of that flower. I'm just going to drop them out. I haven't used the 16 already. I was thinking a little in the middle of that button maybe. I hate when my screen goes black. There's a 15. It's just a set of bingo numbers. There's 16. That's what I think of for 2016. We'll just use that. Alright, 
and get that gel medium back out. Do we like the 16 in the flower or no? I kind of like the pop of the red. I'm not sure it needs the button. I actually think I could lose the button and just do the number in the middle of the flower and save the button for another project. Like that red, it needs that little pop over here, right? I'm going to take the button off and clean it up. I'm going to use it on another. Yeah, it's the perfect red orange that's in that seaplane in the ad. And like I said, this one's not going to be able to hang up anyways. Well, you could bend that back, I guess. Get rid of that baby white. Yeah, the the has a number, but it's not as like a double digit. It's eight twenty two. The bees on the back. Yeah, I thought of that. I think I like it. I think it helped bring that red. It needed something in that field. So it needs a little turquoise up here that I wasn't able to do now that it's dry. Maybe just a touch of the gray. The turquoise down here. I used to have big jars of buttons and then I got rid of them now I kind of wish I had them back. Yeah, makes a triangle of red and it makes this field up here like have more purpose. So there, I'm not worried about there's no red on the front. I mean, there's red in the roads, and there's a little red here, but I like it. It's got that turquoise continuity on the back. So what it needs to do is it's going to dry really good overnight, and then I'm going to put a layer of the triple thick to give it that really hard coat so that if somebody is actually using it as a clipboard on the front, well, it's going to be Still going to be a little wrinkly on that front. So. But that'll kind of help when I put that thick triple thin. I may put two coats on here just to kind of minimize some of this. Um, but I want it to dry 
I like it to dry overnight before I put it and seal it. Alright, I'm going to stop the recording.